Following exhaustive deliberations on the updates as outlined above, the emergency meeting of the Union's National Executive Council has resolved that members of our union everywhere in this country should withdraw their services in a two weeks industrial action with effect from Monday, the 16th of May, 2022. We are deploying this medium to equally appeal to members of the public to prevail on the government to do the needful within this two weeks period so as to avoid an indefinite shutdown of the Nigerian Polytechnic system as a consequence of an indefinite industrial action. Our union suspended an industrial action which was declared on the 6th of April 2021 on the 10th of June same year following the signing of a memorandum of action with the government. The signed memorandum of action contained a clear path to sustainable resolution of the issues in dispute with timelines attached to each of the items in dispute. The suspension of the industrial action was for a period of three months and to enable the government to conclude processes already initiated in the direction of fulfillment of the items in the memorandum of action which are process led. Nine months after the suspension of that industrial action and six months after the expiration of the three-month period of suspension. And I would like you to take note of these timelines. Nine months after the suspension of that industrial action and six months after the expiration of the three-month period of suspension, our union's National Executive Council met in its 102nd meeting at the Federal Polytechnic MUBI. And after reviewing the report on the implementation of the Memorandum of Action, we resolved to issue a one-month ultimatum to the government effective 4th of April 2022 to address the outstanding items in the Memorandum of Action and other emergent issues or face the reality of another trade dispute with our union. Our union's ultimatum expired on the 4th of May 2022 and as is the norm, the Union's National Executive Council reconvened today, 11th of May 2022, to review the response of the government to the ultimatum, particularly as it affects relevant agencies and functionaries of government. Within the period of the ultimatum, the Union met with the National Board for Technical Education, MBTE, that is our regulatory body, to review the grievances with a view to resolution. Another meeting fixed at the instance of the Honorable Minister of Education failed to meet the basic requirements for collective bargaining and as a consequence our union stayed away from the meeting as it was not structured to address the issues in disputes. The Federal Minister of Labor and Employment only acknowledged receipt of the union's ultimatum and made no attempts at conciliation. Spirited efforts were also made by the Chairman of Chairman of Governing Councils of Polytechnics in Nigeria and some members of the National Assembly in the direction of a resolution. Gentlemen of the press, the status of the items in dispute as of today is captured as follows. One, non-release of the approved revitalization fund for the sector. Of course, as we all know, and as has been reported previously, the sum of 15 billion naira was approved by Mr. President in June 2021. And as we speak, 11 months after this approval by Mr. President, this amount has not been released to the sector. Two, non-release of areas of the new minimum wage owed our members. The old 10 months areas for the polytechnics is yet to be released. The composite amount covering all federal tertiary institutions to the approximate figure of 19 billion naira currently exists 
as an AIE. What I mean by an AIE is an authority to incur expenditure in the Accountant General's office. By implication, this particular item has also not been satisfied. Three, non-release of the reviewed normative instruments for institution and management and programs accreditation. This document is currently awaiting approval at the management level of our regulatory body, the MBTE. This document is expected to provide a framework, is a very important document, which is expected to provide a framework to address non-payment of salaries in state-owned institutions, non-compliance with approved retirement age, non-deployment of approved salary structure, poor governance structures, as well as other issues affecting standards, particularly in state-owned polytechnics. As a consequence, our members in Abia, Ogun, Edo, Benue, Bayelsa, Bauchi, Plateau, and Oshun states are owed salaries, while they also continue to suffer from different levels of deprivation, including non-release of promotions and non-deployment of appropriate retirement age. Such deprivations are also evident in Adamawa State, Niger State, Sokoto State, and recently in Delta State, where the government has resolved to disrupt the hitherto timely payment of salaries with a subvention-styled funding regime. Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever for the union makes us strong. Victoria, Victoria. 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 Victoria.